welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today I am bringing back another styling haul. I hope you're all ready. I was so excited to go back to this store. I don't even think you understand. So today we are going to be doing a drum roll, drum roll, Primark styling haul. It's reopened, we can go in social distancing measures and I cannot wait to share with you some of the bits I have bought. So let's go straight on in to this styling haul and I hope you enjoy. First off, as soon as I got into the store, I spotted these trousers. Now they are so good quality, I can't even tell you, you wouldn't even think these were Primark you would honestly think they were somewhere from like Urban Outfitters. They are honestly incredible, incredible, incredible material. Um, these are high-waisted trousers. They've got like that smart edge, but also you can wear them so casually. Nice little rolled up bottom, which I think you can undo as well. So that they're completely a straight trouser. Um, they've got lovely little detailing on the stitching, it just gives it a little bit of an edge. I think it's more of a grey on the stitching, so it's a little bit more of a contrast and it really pops when you're wearing them. As well as being slightly pleated, sorry, being slightly pleated at the top. Um, yeah, they're just such a workable trouser, smart, casual, all in one. You've got pockets, ladies, you've got belt hoops as well. You don't usually get like a straight leg type of trouser that also has a belt loop, which is absolute bliss. In the styling part of this, I didn't wear a belt, but I friggin' well should have now because I've just realised it's got a belt loop. But never mind, there's always next time. Um, yeah, nice little fake pocket detailings at the back, and these were £15. I got size 10, they fit extremely well, perfect in length, perfect high waist, wouldn't have gone any bigger, wouldn't have gone any smaller, so I'd stick true to size if you like these. Um, then I paired them with one of my next favourite purchases, which was this oversized denim long shirt with big sleeves it is honestly so again such good quality so cozy i went a size down i got a size 8 instead of a size 10 because with oversized fits i don't like them the too oversized i just like it a little bit so i went a size down and i got a size 8 um you can't go wrong with having a denim shirt jacket within your wardrobe it's an absolute staple they go with everything as a jacket or a shirt um in this video like i said i styled it with the trousers i just tucked it in i opened up pretty much all the buttons so it like had a bit of chest on show which would look great if i had a tan so again like i said in the last video accessories would go grand with this um and yeah I just absolutely love it. It can go as a jacket on night out. It can go as a shirt with some smart pants, jeans, leather leggings. Um, and also, I've literally just had this thought before, button it all up, maybe even a cute little belt in the middle, some cycling shorts, a pair of vans, some nice trainers. Um, yeah, this was, oh, 17 pounds. And ladies and gents, this one is for the both of you because it is unisex. When I went upstairs into the men's section, they also had this on show for the men. So a nice little unisex piece within this haul, which I absolutely bloody love. The fact that things are crossing over more, I think it's just, I don't know, I just enjoy it. I think the world is getting a little bit more versatile with pieces within ladies and men's and i just think it's bloody fabulous i just then paired this with a pair of white air force you can't go wrong with a bit of black denim and white i just think or oh, they just combine really well together and create a proper just stylish yet yeah, not really thought about outfit or in other cases you put a lot of effort into it without it looking like you spent two hours to put an outfit together so i really enjoy these two first pieces i got from primark the 
denim shirt I just showed you, I said could go as a jacket and I think it would look incredible over this next piece, this white tiered, shorter at the front, longer at the back, little puffy sleeve dress. It's embroidered so beautifully, you wouldn't even think it was Primark. The only thing is, it's a little bit see-through. So in the videos, I do apologise if you can see my black underwear. Now I can guarantee you're all going to be watching it, looking out for the black underwear. But yeah, I couldn't be bothered changing it. So I'm sorry, it's my own fault. But I just absolutely think it's so beautiful. I'd usually go for a size 10 in just anything, pretty much any shop. I went down in this to a size 8 because I knew it'd be a bit too big and floaty and make me look like I was freaking taking off with the wind if I went for my new, usual size. So I definitely recommend um, maybe going down a size for this piece. Like I said, I just think it is so stunning. And in this video, I paired it with a pair of sandals that I showed you in the last haul. However, I also paired it with a pair of red boots that have like little studs around the bottom, give it that little biker edge. I think for winter, with a red boot, that would just, it would just transform the dress into something a bit more expensive with a leather jacket over the top, perhaps. Um, but for obviously this summer haul, summer months, um, a nice little pair of just nude sandals would look absolutely perfect, a little dream. Um, yeah, I think this would just look so nice with like a little picnic, little picnic pics. Um, let's hope the weather changes slightly because currently it is not a very nice day. But yeah, let me check how much this was. Again, £15 just like the trousers, a little bit more expensive I'd say for Primark for an item like this but once I put it on I was like yes I like this, I'm not taking it back um, so yeah I'd, I'd recommend going down a size and just buy it because it's so beautiful. Sticking with these staple colours and shades and denim I picked up this denim corset top now wow i didn't know these were such a thing but i absolutely love it the little buttons at the front in the white means they'll go absolutely perfectly with a nice light um trouser for this time of year which sadly i haven't got so maybe i might have to purchase it on my next little buy um, and you can start saving money, but it doesn't matter, you know, you've got to maybe have, you've got to have these staples in your wardrobe, haven't you ladies? I paired this with a pair of black trousers that I've actually currently got on from Zara. Um, yeah, denim and black go really well I feel, but also denim with a light pair of trousers would also look really great. Um, just pairing this with a pair of Birkenstocks as I do in the video and a pair of black trousers seem to look really nice and just proper classic and crisp and again the blue just gives it like a pop of colour to an all black outfit sometimes um also with this even though it's a corset top with the balloon sleeves i also think it looks nice with them down as a little like bardo top i'm really into doing that with this style of shirt and top and t-shirt don't know where I'm going with this, but I think it looks really nice like that. And again, making one piece of clothing into two different looking outfits, which, you know, is great because then you don't have to be like, oh, I've worn that now. I can't wear it again. We need to get out of that habit now. Girls, ladies, wear that dress again. Wear that t-shirt again. Because what does it matter? As long as you can style it maybe a different way. I got this in my usual size, a size 10, and this was £12, so I don't think that's actually that bad for a denim piece. Oh. On to the next, next up I got these shorts. Now, I was a bit sketchy when I got these. Sketchy, is that the right word? We'll roll with it, we'll roll with it, just because I saw them saw my size and thought gonna get them home they ain't gonna fit they ain't gonna be very high-waisted 
are going to be a bit too much booty on show for what I like. Um, but you know what? They absolutely blew it out of the park. I absolutely adore these. Such nice stretchy quality. Fit really well on the waist actually. I usually have the problem with the bagginess at the back um, just because sometimes I have to go up because my bum's a little big so then I'm big on my waist but these actually fit really really well on the waist and again they've got belt hoops which is an absolute dream. The pockets are the best thing about these shorts they're just a little square pocket they give it that little cargo vibe from the cargo trousers but oh my gosh they make these shorts so flattering it's a joke like they fit such a nice little short length as well a bit short than i'd like but hey ho um but they're so flattering and again this color is such a staple to have in a pair of shorts because they go with so many different things in this video i just paired it with a little razor crop top and my next favorite purchase from primark before i go on to them i'd stick with your original size but if you want them a little longer maybe go up a size because you can always put a belt on if they feel a bit big around the waist and these were an absolute steal these were seven pounds um they do them also in a black and i think they do them in a khaki so i kind of want to go back and get a nice black pair i just love these really really highly rate them they're just such a nice pair of shorts to have in your wardrobe girls but on to one of my next purchases that i popped with these shorts and that next purchase was very random for me because I don't ever usually buy shoes from Primark but I got these pair of trainers how nice are these they're just an absolute staple platform trainer they are so light they're so wearable because they're so neutral I absolutely love the little bit of neon across the back they're actually really comfy i've never bought a pair of shoe proper shoes except heels from primark before and i'll definitely be buying shoes from there again if they are actually this comfy um these were 14 pounds ladies 14 pounds i think personally they do look like a like pair of nikes or a pair of Adidas, perhaps Nikes. Did I just say Adidas? Is that right? Is that the right way? Is that the English way? Adidas, Adidas. I don't know. Sorry for whoever's watching. <laughs> but yeah, I think they look like a brand pair of trainers. Not gonna lie. Like I was buzzing. I got these home, tried them on. I was like, I feel like I'm frigging, frigging walking on the moon. I'm frigging like I could bounce like a frigging kangaroo. Like they're comfy. They're so comfy. <laughs> But, oh god, I need to calm down, don't I? But yeah, I just paired these with the shorts and the little white t-shirt and I think they look like such a cute little outfit. And for £14, I don't care if these break in the next week. Well, how good's that? I think it made a cute little outfit, to be honest. £14. I got my same size because obviously I, I don't know how they usually fit, if they fit small or big or whatever. But yeah, £14. Get yourself there, girls. You're jumping like a kangaroo like me at this rate. I got another pair of shoes, but like I said, I bought heels from there before, so I got another pair of heels. How nice are these? These are just a really beautiful tan colour. But what got me was like the straps. I think that is so elegant and so chic. Like, and the heel. Look at that heel. Or love that love that it's not a stiletto so my feet are gonna absolutely kill but also love how it's not a massive friggin block heel that reminds me of when i was 16 going to parties in college going to parties oh, yeah they're just so nice stick with my original size these were 12 pounds i think that's great for a pair of heels they're proper comfy as well and i love the square toe love them paired those heels with these trousers I remember in my last island haul I said I'm not into paper waste but these shorts are the only paper waste I'll get 
Lying Molly, you're lying because you just bought a paper waist pair of trousers from Primark. Again, these are nice because they're not too paper waist. I've not got like a freaking nappy over the top of me. Um, these are high waisted. They come with a nice little belt, but they've got belt hoops if you want to take that out and put your own belt in. Again, like the black trousers, a nice rolled up at the bottom, but you can undo the roll if you don't particularly like that or it makes you look a little bit short. Sometimes that can happen to me, but these seem to be okay. Um, yeah, I just think these are really nice. Nice little fake pockets at the back. Again, girls, got pockets. Do you know, it's all happening for us. We're getting pockets on our trousers. Love it. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love this colour as well. This khaki. So wearable. I can't wait to wear just like crisp colours. Black, white, a bit of um, stone, a bit of nude with these. I think they'll just look so super stylish for like winter. I have noticed maybe some of the stuff I have got from here is getting me ready for autumn winter, but that's okay. Because at this rate, that'll be the only time I'll be going out. Because lockdown. If anything though, with these trousers, I've got a size 10. I kind of wish they were a little bit bigger, just a little bit, but I know a 12 would be way too big. Um, yeah, just a tiny bit bigger. They're a little bit tight across the whole hippie area. But they're okay. They're not too, they're not, they're fine everywhere else. So I'm going to keep them. And these ones were £13. So again, I don't think that's a bad price for a pair of trousers. I said I can't wait to pair those trousers with a nice crisp top. So what could be crisper than a white tunic? Is that how they say it? Tunic? Is it a white tunic? Like white shirt tunic, oversized. Well, we're going to go with it because I've said it now. Um, again, I went a size down. I'd usually get a 10, but I've got a size 8. Kind of wish I went another size down to a 6 because it is a little bit big. Um, but it's great if you want to perhaps wear this as like a dress with a belt in the middle, some um, cycling shorts and a nice little pair of heels, or even just a pair of um, platform vans would look really cute with this. However, I paired this with them trousers and with them heels, as you'll see me style in a minute. Just tucked the front bit in, just so you could see the detailing of the pants at the front, and kept it out of the back. I love doing that with shirts, I just think it's a nice little vibe, you know? Also really enjoy the fact that it's not long sleeve, so it's not a complete school shirt. Um, the little rolled up detailing three quarter sleeves I really enjoy as well as it being a nice little deep V here. You can make um, accessories really shown if you're wearing them. I think it's a nice piece to have in your wardrobe. I wish again, like I said, I got it smaller to be honest, but I'm not going back to Primark just to take this back because that's just an absolute faff. So I'll work with it. This was £10. So £10 for a white shirt. Just because it's a little bit big, I'd probably say I would prefer paying a little bit less, but that's my own fault. It's not actually that see-through, which is great for uh, for whites, for women. I don't want that bra always on show. don't know why I just put my boob, but I did. But yeah, I think this is a great little purchase for so many different outfits. But if you're like me and don't enjoy oversized, 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 perhaps go two sizes down. As well as the white shirt tunic, I got it in a khaki. This one I felt a bit debatable with when I tried it on with no makeup, hair scraped back, greasy. Um, I was like, oh, don't know if I like this. However, once I popped my face on and sorted my hair out, I don't actually mind it, you know. It's a bit very different vibe, I feel, to the white one. This is more winter. Definitely more trouser base with a nice pair of black jeans, a belt in the middle and my black boots, which I styled it as in this video. Um, I think that, I think the boots, the heights of the boots just really made it look a bit more, oh, okay, this girl's made an effort. It's very much a boot wintry shirt, um, but you know, it's good to have in the wardrobe now for this rain that we're having. The only thing is with the both of them is that they crease ridiculously. Um, just because the material it is so they definitely need to be hung up and probably ironed before you wear it out 
in the videos for that khaki shirt, you would have seen me have a little accessory either in the video or the Instagram pic and it was this bag. <gasps> How nice is this bag? I just think it's so like i'm pretty sure this is the type of stuff like my gran would have had when she was younger and then that would have been passed on to like my mum's generation it's just like old fashions just coming completely around and i'm not gonna lie i'm here for it i dig it i just think this can just dress up the most simplest of outfits this was 12 pounds a little bit dearer than i expected it to be but i got a little bit shop happy why not? I've not been to Primark in like four months, guys. So you better see me out in this. <laughs> now, I own one bucket hat and I absolutely love it. It fits really well. It looks nice. And I was like, you know what, mum? Let's get a white bucket hat. So I got one. The only thing is, it's a little bit bigger than the other one I've got from Primark. So I'm not really completely used to it as of yet and I need to style it properly. Um, but this was like three pounds. Yeah, three pounds for a bucket hat. And if it gets sunny again, then I've got a hat to wear on my head, haven't I? But yeah, I just love it. I think white is such a nice color to have in it. It can just go with anything. I paired it with the white dress I bought from Primark and I thought that looked cool. But with just some like cool running shorts, like the grey um, sweat ones, a nice little white top, pair of sunglasses, this, trainers, you'd look cool. Maybe I won't, because I don't really know if like the sporty, that type of vibe is me, but we'll soon find out when I'm jetting about my area with this on my head. If you see me, don't beat me, don't pay attention, because I'll probably look like any of you, but bucket hat. I'm just on to like the little shitty bits now that I bought from Primark, all the essentials, kappa socks, but the long ones, can't wait to wear these, I just got these ones out, sorry, to try on, a pair of white, a pair of black and a pair of grey for £3.50, which I think is alright for three pairs of socks to be honest, and they're really good quality, and I can't wait to wear them with my gym stuff, and just normal outfits, five pairs of white socks, don't know where all my white socks have gone from uni, don't know where all my white socks have gone from home, so I thought I'd better buy a few more pairs, these were three pounds, and two underwear ladies! Now you can't go to Primark girls, can you, without grabbing some of these, look at the amount I've got! It's a classic one pound thongs from Primark, got two of these pink ones, a little glittery, got three pairs of white for three pound got some like nudie ones again for three pounds these have been a lot of my old ones that's why but these i just thought were super cute i absolutely adore little rainbow so grab them and then last but not least five pounds for this it came in this color it came in like an orange it came in a mint which i kind of wish i got as well and it came in like this color blue so i got the white can't be a nice little white set of underwear, can you? And five for five pounds? Bargain. I said that was the last thing, but it wasn't the last thing. So I've got one more accessory that I've been wearing throughout this video in a couple of the outfits. And it's these pair of sunglasses. Two pounds. Two pounds. For these. They're so cool. I'm pretty sure you can get something like Topshop for like 16 quid or 12 quid or something. But two pounds, they're so cool. They came in this like tortoise shell, they came in black, they came in like a rust. And yeah, I just dig these. So I grabbed them and I think they can just make an outfit just pop and look really cool. I think a pair of sunglasses can always do that. I'll even just sometimes in the pissing rain go out with them on top of my head as a headband because you just look cool. Maybe you don't, but I think you do. Just saying. Well, that's everything I bought from Primark. Not as much as I thought I would. Not the type of pieces I thought I would. But hey ho, I hope you enjoyed um, what's new in, in Primark at the moment. Get yourself there. Um, your cues might be ridiculous. I was very lucky that I got in like 
within five minutes I was absolutely buzzing um, but yeah there's some cute little bits in there if you proper have a little root and have a little look and also go around thinking what will they go with because obviously you can't try them on within the store currently and you don't really want to be jetting back to be like well i've actually got nothing to go with this and they don't fit properly so just be mindful when walking around primark picking up the pieces that you like i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did share comment subscribe let people know about this bid i'd very much appreciate it um yeah lots of love to you all and i'll see you next week with another video goodbye